Hello again, and welcome to Collection Speed Dating at Fort Ticonderoga. I'm Matthew Cagle, the curator, and I'm here today in our library and reading room with some particularly interesting objects, because it's not every day that you get to physically encounter someone from the past. Now, it's not as strange as it might sound. These are just locks of hair, but these locks of hair belong to Margaret and Benedict Arnold. Now, according to the inscriptions on the little packets of paper in which these were held, they were preserved by Margaret and Benedict's youngest son, Henry Arnold. Benedict Arnold was born in Norwich, Connecticut, but as a young man moved to New Haven. There, in 1767, he married Margaret Mansfield, the daughter of the sheriff of New Haven. This is a lock of her hair right here, uh, preserved by her youngest son, Henry. Margaret and Benedict had three sons together. However, what's interesting about it is that Margaret died at the age of 31 in June of 1775, while Benedict was serving the American cause here in the Champlain Valley. He, of course, went on to have a second wife, a second Margaret for a wife who is more famous or infamous in the history. However, before her death, Margaret and Benedict had had three sons, and the youngest of those sons, Henry, seems to have preserved these mementos. And in fact, he wrote on one of these envelopes that it contains two locks of my father's hair sent from London, 1801, and signed Henry Arnold. 1801 is the year that Benedict Arnold died in London after a remarkable and fascinating career and life. And this lock appears to have been sent to his sons, Richard and Henry, living at the time in Wolford, Grenville County, Upper Canada, which is now in Ontario. They stand today here, preserved at Fort Ticonderoga, where they were donated by descendants of Richard and Henry in the 1950s. Two reminders of one of the most fascinating and inscrutable characters of the Revolutionary Era.